Pakistan was born through a peace process. The founder of Pakistan, Qaeda Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah, voiced the commitment of the young nation to the ideals and principles of peace by saying that Pakistan will never be found lacking in extending its material and moral support to the oppressed and suppressed peoples of the world and in upholding the principles of the UN Charter. It is owing to this commitment to peace that Pakistani peacekeepers have been in the forefront of the UN peacekeeping missions around the world, from Congo to Haiti. The officers and men of the Pakistan army on their induction into the armed forces make a firm commitment to the cause of duty any time, any place. This commitment sustains them through thick and thin and they perform their duties with a smile and a spirit of sacrifice. It may be on the frontiers, during disasters and natural calamities, or peacekeeping in distant lands and far-off places. The Pakistani troops wore the blue barrettes for the first time in 1960, when they joined the UN peacekeeping force to restore peace in the war-torn Congo in Africa. The mission lasted for four years, the Pakistani contingent provided logistic support during the UN operation in Congo. This involvement with UN operations set the pace for future operations of the Pakistani peacekeepers. Two years later, in 1962, a composite force of a battalion plus was dispatched to West Iran to ensure the smooth transition of authority from Holland to Indonesia under UN auspices. The Pakistani contingent working under the UN flag ensured the precarious peace without spilling a drop of blood. Their efforts won them the acclaim of the Indonesian government and people. The Chinese Premier Chou Enlai also praised the endeavors of the Pakistani peacekeepers, saying, the only example in United Nations history when a UN military force had gone and performed its role honestly and come out was Pakistan's military contingent to Indonesia. The operation in West Iran afforded a wealth of experience to the Pakistani peacekeepers in operating in a politically sensitive environment. In 1992, after two decades of war and violence in Cambodia, a UN transitional authority was established to promote an environment of peace in which free and fair elections could be held. A UN force called UNTAC was raised to undertake this challenging task. A battalion-sized contingent from Pakistan also joined the Blue Barrettes. They were tasked to ensure the withdrawal of foreign forces, demobilize the warring factions, and create an environment of security for the conduct of elections. It was a daunting and difficult undertaking. The Pakistani contingent not only took effective security measures, but also created such a conducive environment in their area of responsibility that the polling progressed uninterrupted and the turnout was heavy. The Pakistani Blue Barrettes went a step further and launched many social welfare measures to help the local population. Doing so, they earned a place for themselves in the hearts and minds of the Cambodian people and created tremendous trust and goodwill for the UN peacekeepers. In the words of the force commander, the Pakistani contingent showed professionalism, patience, determination and compassion, which indeed are the hallmarks of an effective peacekeeping force. <laughs> 